The Louisville Cardinals are not known to produce big time wide receiver prospects, but the subject of today's video changed that narrative. He was one of the fastest players in his draft class, was taken in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, and went down as one of the best receivers in Louisville football history. Everyone expected this guy to be a star at the next level, but unfortunately through two seasons, he only has one catch, and so far his career has not gone as planned. In today's video, we're going to talk about his rise, go through his entire story, his Louisville career, and what has happened to him in the NFL. But before we get into it, we are so close to 100k, so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to help me out, leave a like if you want to support today's video, turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload, and let me know what player, team, situation, or topic I could do next. Now, let's get started. So you're probably wondering who the subject of today's video is, and it is none other than former Louisville and current Ram wide receiver Tutu Atwell. But in order to understand what has gone wrong for Atwell, we first need to go back in time. Going back in time, football ran in his family as his dad was a star wide receiver for the Minnesota Golden Gophers during the 1990s. His dad caught 171 passes for 2,640 yards. He was Minnesota's all-time leading receiver until Eric Decker broke most of those records back in 2008. He worked out for NFL teams before he eventually retired after a severe injury. His football dreams that he had, he would now put into his son. He said, quote, I'm happy to see him be able to kind of accomplish one of my childhood dreams. I would be very proud of him to accomplish some things that I wasn't able to, and that will be getting drafted and getting the opportunity to play in the NFL. But we need to go back to the beginning for Tutu. That is not his real name, as his birth name was Chaterius Atwell Jr., but his dad called him Tutu. Apparently, when he was three or four years old, one of his cousins couldn't properly pronounce his name, and I guess it just stuck. He was always an athlete and would dominate on the field, and that continued throughout high school. He eventually got to Northwestern High School in Miami, Florida, which has some notable alumni, including Chad Johnson, Antonio Brown, Devontae Freeman, and Teddy Bridgewater. He was a big time player, but the local power Miami was not interested. But why was that? His high school coach said, quote, they thought they had to pursue him as a quarterback. Tutu knew all the time that he was an athlete and he knew what he was going to be playing in college. Miami probably thought we had to get him as a quarterback, so we're not going to take him. He's not what we want in a quarterback, but Tutu knew all along that he was going to be playing at a different position that he is playing now. Louisville knew that, and Tutu knew that, so that's why they recruited him. So yeah, obviously Atwell was playing quarterback, and he threw for more than 4,000 yards, while also running for over 1,500 yards during his time as a four-year starter there. During his four seasons there, he completely re-energized the program. He was good, but many schools didn't really recruit him that hard, and because of the lack of size and need to change positions, Atwell was barely recruited, and his dad's school in Minnesota didn't even offer him. Tutu originally committed to Florida Atlantic, but then he decided to back off after an offer from Louisville came, which changed the game. He eventually chose the Cardinals over Florida Atlantic, Florida International, and Ohio, but why? Honestly, I couldn't find anything on that, but I'm assuming the Teddy Bridgewater connection and the fact that the cards were his biggest offer were probably why. So what did the scouts end up having to say? One said, quote, Atwell is a slithery athlete who has a headache to contain in space, making his future transition into the slot that much more appetizing. Atwell will never be the biggest receiver on the field, but he's always a missed tackle away from lining up the scoreboard. This is an elusive, hair-raising playmaker who can make an impact in a number of different ways. Despite getting decent hype, scouting services were not very high on him. According to 24-7 Sports, Atwell was a three-star recruit, the number 57 athlete, and the 728th best player in the class of 2018. Being undersized and switching positions was daunting for him, but would he be able to make an impact at Louisville? Because of the Northwestern and Louisville connection, Atwell's mentor became Teddy Bridgewater. Atwell said, quote, Teddy always calls me son. We're very close. Going into it, he would really need a mentor as he was buried on the depth chart but he would quickly get one opportunity and would leave his mark. As a true freshman in 2018, he would show why he should have been recruited more. He ended up catching 24 passes for 406 yards and two touchdowns, and his best performance of the season came when he caught four passes for 79 yards and two scores against Georgia Tech. Also, what's crazy about that game is they lost 66 to 31 to Georgia Tech. That's just insane to me. Atwell had a ton of hype going into the 2019 season, and it was for good reason. In their first game against Notre Dame, he catched five passes for 47 yards, and Scott Satterfield's debut actually made Louisville look like they were in a decent spot. The next game, he catches his first touchdown of the year against Eastern Kentucky, and then he would go off against Western Kentucky. In that game, he caught five passes for 145 yards and three touchdowns, and followed it up with another touchdown and a road loss to Florida State. He'd have a career-high eight catches for 110 yards and a win over Boston College, and then he'd have a touchdown and a win over number 19 Wake Forest. 
So far, the season was going spectacularly for Atwell, and he would continue to finish strong. After not having much of an impact against Clemson, he would go off to finish the year. He went for over 100 yards in a touchdown against Virginia, 142 yards in a touchdown against Miami, 110 yards in a touchdown against NC State, and 152 yards and two touchdowns against Syracuse. At this point, Louisville had saved their season, and they were actually 7-4. and four. After the Bobby Petrino disaster, no one expected Louisville to be this good this year, and Atwell was a big reason for it. In the Commonwealth Cup against Kentucky, he'd catch a touchdown, but they'd end up getting blown out. But either way, Louisville was 7-5 and five and got an opportunity to go to a bowl game. They'd end up playing against Mississippi State, where he would go off. He caught 9 passes for 147 yards, and they would win 38-28. to 28. On the season, Atwell caught 70 passes for 1,276 yards and 12 touchdowns. He became one of the top receivers in the country and was named a first-team All-ACC selection. If he could just have a big 2020 season, he was likely going to have an opportunity to play in the NFL. Going into 2020, the world was in a weird spot, but Atwell still found a way to perform. He caught seven passes for 78 yards in their first game against Western Kentucky, and then would go off in a loss to Miami. He catch eight passes for 114 yards and two touchdowns in that one, and they would have a touchdown the following week and a loss to Pitt. After starting out ranked, Louisville dropped four of their first five games, and they would need to bounce back against Florida State in a big way. In that game, Atwell averaged 43 yards per catch and had two total touchdowns, and they would beat the Seminoles 48 to 16. After that, Atwell had a decent showing against Virginia Tech, had a touchdown against Syracuse, and then had a touchdown in their final game against Boston College. Louisville was not able to play in a bowl game, so Atwell would finish the season with 46 catches for 625 yards and seven touchdowns, with one more score in the running department. Atwell was named a second team all ACC selection, and after a tremendous three-year career at Louisville, he decided he was going to declare for the 2021 NFL Draft. As he declared for the 2021 NFL Draft, scouts were split on how Atwell would translate. While he had insane speed, had good hands, was explosive, and was a big play waiting to happen, many were concerned about his small frame, how short he was, the lack of strength, and how much of a role he'd have outside of just being a slot receiver. It didn't really matter though, as he was a true home run hitting kind of player and had serious speed that the NFL was looking for. He didn't have to be a Pro Bowl level receiver every year, but if he could just make big plays, he could be a good piece for an NFL team. That is why the Rams decided to take him with the 57th overall pick in the second round, giving off the narrative that they believed in him. Going into the 2021 season, Atwell would first start out on special teams. He'd end up appearing in their first eight games, but only saw 10 total snaps on offense. He was definitely more of a special teams player, and then after the week 8 game against the Texans, it was announced that he missed the remainder of the season with season ending shoulder surgery. This was a huge blow to both the Rams and Atwell, and with him only being 155 pounds, those worries that those scouts had were seemingly coming to fruition. Atwell didn't do anything his rookie year, so many were expecting him to be a bounce back breakout kind of player in 2022. Except that has not at all happened. So far he's played in 4 total games but has only been targeted 4 times. He caught 1 pass against the Dallas Cowboys and on the year he has 1 catch for 54 yards. It's been an extremely disappointing season for Atwell once again, but why is he not seeing the field? People all offseason were talking about how Atwell was going to be a star, but he barely played in the preseason and he's not getting any chances this year, and it's not like the Rams offense is great. Honestly, I cannot seem to figure out what it is, but ultimately behind the scenes, I guess they just don't trust him, they don't think he's developed enough, and maybe he just isn't versatile enough to make it in the NFL. I really don't know the answer to this question, but it's actually very disappointing. I really enjoyed watching Atwell at Louisville, he has a great story, and with his speed, there's surely a way to get him on the field more. Through two seasons, he's starting to look like an NFL draft bust, but I really hope he saves and fixes his career, but we'll just have to wait and see. If you're a Louisville or a Rams fan, what has gone wrong for Atwell? Who's another player I could take a look at in my next video? And before you go, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace. Thank you.